Hi my friends, welcome back to Scrolls of Darmot Goes On Video. This time, this day, I'm going to talk about a band that I grew up with in, uh, in the 1990s, a band which uh, basically was with me from the very, very beginnings. Maybe you can recognize uh, the Furious Riffing. Uh, this band is called Creator. Okay, let me just turn up the volume. Okay. Um, I remember in 1990, after the revolution, my, one of my first tapes uh, that I recorded was Extreme Aggression from uh, the German band Creator. Uh, there was a Romanian magazine which was called uh, Rocker, and uh, inside that magazine there were some ads. Uh, some guys which uh, had some music on CD or vinyl recorded tapes uh, for a decent uh, for a decent amount of uh, Romanian lay. Uh, I followed up an ad and uh, I met a guy, uh, Marius Kiss. He was living near Universitate, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, I went to his place, I gave him a tape, and a couple of days later he called me and I went back and took the tape back with the Extreme Aggression tape. I have it to this day and I have to say uh, it's not uh, in a bad shape, you can listen to it after 26, uh, 26 years. Really? 26 years, yes. So, uh, from there on, Creator remained in my heart as a band which I'm very fond of, even if I don't like all their, uh, all their albums from the huge discography, but uh, they are still with me and uh, I will take them to, to the grave. I'm not making this episode because Creator will play in, uh, in Bucharest this weekend. My only regret is that I never saw them playing live. I saw, uh, uh, let's say, the Holy duality of uh, the German trash. I saw Sodom, I saw Destruction, but I never saw Creator. I'm not going to this concert because of, uh, I don't know, uh, some differences, uh, some personal tastes, but I'm sure that maybe one day before splitting up I will uh, have the chance to see them. Uh, let's move to the point. Today I'm going to present you not all the albums because I don't have all the albums on vinyl, but I have the first five and one EP. So, uh, as you already know, uh, Creator was, uh, was born in Essen in 1982. Uh, they were called Metal Militia back then, and then they changed their name to Tormentor. And because there was already a band with that name uh, around the world, especially in Europe, the Hungarian band, the guys decided to move to Creator, to choose Creator as a name. So they named they themselves Creator and in 1984 they started uh, from scratch. A year later, in 85, they released what is uh, the classic of all classics, Endless Pain, this album on vinyl. Uh, it was recorded uh, for Noise Records. They, uh, they heard some demos and they, uh, they asked them to sign with them. Uh, the guys were still teenagers at the time, but that doesn't matter because this album, even if it's uh, quite raw, it's a milestone in uh, Teutonic Trash Metal and why not Trash Metal in general. It has uh, some classics which define the creator's style and are played to this day uh, as an encore. I mean uh, Tormentor and Flag of Hate, uh, Total Death, uh, another classic, uh, Dying Victims, what can I say? This is pure trash metal, pure black and trash metal, because at that time uh, they, the German bands liked to, to play some black trash uh, metal like Sodom and Destructions and Hellhammer. Yeah, they were Swiss, but the style was, uh, was the same. Uh, moving on, in uh, 1986 they have released what, uh, what you can hear this, another classic, which is called Pleasure to Kill. Uh, this is the perfect album, the perfect follow-up to, uh, to Endless Pain. This is the back cover. As you can see, the band was very, very young. I think they were in their 1990s, they were in the 90s uh, or 20s, something like that. This is the insert. It doesn't have any lyrics, just some live pictures, and uh, on the back some advertising from Noise, I think. But I don't care. It doesn't have any any lyrics, as I said. Uh, this bad, this this album is uh, another milestone in trash. 
In thrash metal, it has uh, songs like "Death Is Your Savior," "Pleasure to Kill," "Ripping Corpse," uh, "Under the Guillotine," the the song that closes the album, the song that is played until today, another song which is an anthem, uh, "Pestilence," "Carrion." All in all, this album is a hit uh, from uh, from start till uh, till end. Uh, another catchy point, <laughs> from my point of view, is that. Uh, we have an alternate singing on this album, uh, Mille and Ventor are sharing the, the vocal duties and this is quite awesome because if I'm not mistaken that they were basically the first band to do this in, uh, in extreme metal. So on one song Mille plays uh, and lays down his uh, barking vocals on, uh, on another one like this one uh, which is called uh, Ripping Corpse, Ventor uh, sings and he sings quite well and uh, he does that even live. So. He's one hell of a drummer. Moving forward, 1987, the band has uh, created its own style. Uh, they have moved from the youthful trash metal to a more adult-oriented trash metal. Not porn, but adult trash metal. Uh, and they have released also on Noise Records, Terrible Certainty. Uh, another classic, so to speak, Songs like Storming with Menace, Terrible Certainty, As the World Burns, Toxic Trace, another live song, uh, Behind the Mirror, of course. These are uh, these are already classics and they have been uh, covered and they have been played live so, so many times. Uh, the cover is also great. It has the unnamed creator monster on the back with the, with the logo tattooed on his chest. Uh, again, <clears throat> the Holy Foursome. Uh, from uh, from Essen, playing what they what they do best, and that is uh, Teutonic trash metal. This is the inlay. It has only the the lyrics. Somewhere uh, in the history, the the other the back of the inlay was lost, and now it's only it's only white. Um, what can I say? The the band was e even stronger than before with uh, Rob Fioretti on bass, Jörg Tritze on the second guitar, Mille with his guitar and his raspy barking vocals, and Ventor, Ventor doing the, the backup. 1988 uh, sees the band releasing um, an EP or a mini LP, I, I think it's an EP, which is called Out of the Dark Into the Light. Uh, it has some. Uh, it has only five songs. This is the the back of the of the disc. It has only five songs: "Impossible to Cure," "Lapse to the Slaughter," and on side B, "Terrible Certainty," "Right of Violence," and "Awakening of the Gods." These three are are, are live versions, if I'm not mistaken. "Lapse to the Slaughter" is a Raven cover, and it sounds really, really catchy and really well. Uh, this was. Uh, maybe a rite of passing because in 1989 the band has released one of their the extreme metal albums uh, yes extreme aggression uh, released always for, <coughs> for for noise records this album uh, marked the passage to a more serious approach in trash metal uh, from the social lyrics, political lyrics to the playing. Uh, it's a serious, as I said, a very serious album. Uh, the black element, the black metal element was left behind and the guys moved forward to a trash, but not in, a, in an American way, trash metal, but still keeping their German roots. Sodom also did that on Agent Orange. They switched to the black metal and uh, trash metal style. And so did Creator Destruction were a little bit out of the picture because they changed the, their style and uh, weren't that hype anymore. So this is a classic. This is the album that I was talking about uh, in the beginning of this video. It has songs like Extreme Aggression, No Reason to Exist, Love Us or Hate Us, Stream of Consciousness, uh, Some Pain Will Last, of course, Don't Trust, Betrayer, with a, it has a nice video, Bringer of Torture and Fatal Energy. Uh, this is uh, the last album that will feature Jörg Tritze on, uh, on guitars and uh, he will be replaced by uh, another famous character from, uh, from the G German uh, trash metal scene. In 1989 uh, and 1990 the band toured in support of Extreme Aggression and uh, just after the fall of, uh, of the Berlin Wall they, they reached Berlin 
Berlin and they recorded uh, live in East Berlin they recorded uh, an album on VHS on video and uh, it was a huge success they shared the stage with Coroner and uh, Tankard if I'm not mistaken so it was a, a three-way uh, trash metal concert this concert was released in 2008 on DVD for the first time it was remastered and uh, it looks like this it has a very nice slipcase as you can see the sickle and the hammer the communist symbol and uh, it has a bonus uh, audio CD so this is like a document because the VHS is not uh, is not around anymore it's been sold out and even if you have it maybe you don't have a VHS to, to watch it on uh, it's a very very good show I like it a lot because it shows creator uh, what what is creator basically uh, on stage uh, brute force playing trash metal and here we have the first the, the addition that I was talking about uh, on guitar we have Frank uh, Blackfire uh, Godzik from uh, from Sodom. Exitrice enter Godzik, and uh, he brings a lot of energy to to creator's music and a very nice touch of musicality because he does some very musical uh, guitar solos. Uh, moving on, 1990s is the <clears throat> band at the hype of their early career, and uh, they are recording and releasing. Coma of Souls, also on Noise Records, uh, another classic, and uh, this ends basically this album ends the trash metal era of the band until some point later. Uh, this is the back of uh, of the vinyl, and this is the the cover. I really like the cover with the with the Bosch uh, insert in uh, in the nameless uh, skull. Uh, what can I say about this album? It was released in 1990 and it really marked my, my youth. I, I love every song that, uh, that, that appears on this album from the When the, Sky, uh, when the Sun Turns Red to, uh, to Mental Slavery. Uh, this is a very political influenced uh, trash metal album. The lyrics, as I told you earlier, are very social and very social aware of that period uh, in time. Later on, uh, the band started to switch towards a different music style. I, here I, I showed you all my, my vinyls. I don't have any, any creator vinyls until uh, a last album, which I'm going to show you later. Uh, they have released uh, uh, some, not shitty, but bad albums, like Renewal, Cause for Conflict, Renewal in 1992, uh, and after this album, Ventor Lee left. Uh, he was replaced uh, by Joe Cangelosi from Whiplash, uh, who played on Cause for Conflict in 1995. Then uh, Ventor came back, and in uh, 1997 they released Outcast. These are not so good albums, I don't like them. Uh, and Dorama is really creepy for me, because it's not creator, it's a hybrid of goth, met gothic metal. The, the guy from Lacrimosa was, uh, was featured as a guest. But starting with the 2000s, uh, the guys were back and they were trying to recapture, reconquer what they have lost. So in 2001 they released Violent Revolution followed by Enemy of God. Uh, I have here the, the special edition of uh, Enemy of God. This was released in, uh, in 2009, if I'm, uh, no, in 2005, I'm sorry. Uh, this has a bonus DVD live in Wacken in 2005 and uh, to uh, to bonus tracks. Uh, in 2009, the guys released Hordes of Chaos. This one, which is not a, a very bad trash trash metal album. It has something from the creator old style, but mixing mixed with some new creator. All in all, it's not a bad album. Uh, I really like it a lot, even though there are no hits on it, so to speak. Uh, but it's a decent one and uh, from time to time I like to give it a, a spin just to remember how they sounded like. Uh, the discogra their discogra discography goes on and in uh, 2012 they have released Phantom Antichrist, their latest uh, studio album followed by Dying Alive in 2015, uh, 2013, sorry. It's a double live album which basically covers all the band's discography. Uh, and you can find basically uh, all the hits from the old time combined with the, with the new ones. 
Um, what can I say? This uh, this year, like a month or so ago, the band released the sort of best of, which is called uh, I don't know exactly the name, but it it uh, it uh, combines, it brings together all the hits from the noise years, so from 1985 until 1990. Uh, I don't know. If if I will buy this album, maybe for all time's sake I will, because it has all the great songs that were uh, from the first albums uh, brought together on uh, two CDs, it's a double album. Uh, if you have the albums, maybe you don't want to buy the, the CD, but I told you, as a, I don't know, as a memorabilia for, uh, for my creator passion, I think I'm going to buy it. Uh, this was my uh, my creator presentation for for today. I, I really like this band. It, it's a huge band. Of course, everybody has heard of them. Everybody maybe saw them. Uh, their first concert in Romania was in 1995, just after releasing um, Cause for Conflict. I didn't I didn't go to that concert, and uh, I'm I'm not sorry. But uh, hopefully, I will uh, I will catch them on stage someday. Thank you very much for watching this and see you next time with another nice surprise.